Education Fund is releasing a new report on hate crimes in the U.S. entitled Confronting the New Faces of Hate, Hate Crimes in America 2009. The report documents through data and uh, real life stories the impact that hate crimes have on the individual, their family, indeed on their entire uh, community. Last week's shooting at the U.S. Holocaust Memorial Museum reminds us, as the museum itself does every day, where the spread of hatred can lead. This evil attack is an immediate reminder that words of hate matter, that we can never afford to ignore racism and bigotry. The FBI has also documented an increased number of anti-Hispanic crimes in each of the last four years. As immigration reform has become a policy issue hotly debated, we have seen an increase in anti-immigrant groups who really vilify immigrants or people perceived to be immigrants, as well as the debate in mainstream media that we think really has crossed the line in describing immigrants as invaders and people bringing criminality and disease to our country. The report also talks about the important role of the federal government in addressing hate crimes and highlights the local law enforcement hate crime prevention act which is currently pending before Congress which would give the federal government additional tools to help local uh, jurisdictions address these crimes as well as provide increased protection for people who experience hate crimes because of their sexual orientation or their gender or gender identity. We also think that in the long run, the best way to address hate crimes is really to get at the root of bias and prejudice in this country. We think the best way to counter that is with education for children to provide teachers, parents with the tools they need to raise children who really embrace the rich diversity of this country.